Nah. Holy For those of you who know more about turning than I do, <clears throat> the tip of the tool, the cutting head, should be at the same height as the center of rotation. The height of the tool you can adjust with this screw, but here the screw can only lift it higher than it already is, as the tool holder is already sitting on the top slide of the lathe, so I can't get this any lower to get it on the center of rotation. This quick change tool post, by the way, is probably or is definitely not meant to be on this little lathe, as the distance between the top of the top slide and the center of the spindle is only 20 mm, which is definitely not enough for a quick change tool post like this. So originally the lathe was meant to be used with this bracket that holds the tool directly on the top of the top slide of the lathe. So it could take up to 20 mm thick tools like this for example. So it would sit over here. But the pre-owner of this machine already installed this quick change tool post and I got six tool holders with it. So this is pretty convenient and I want to stay with it. So there are several solutions for this problem. At first I could only use smaller tooling like this for example. But I really want to use these cheap import insert tooling so that's not gonna work. The second idea some people on the internet suggested is to mill down the top slide of the lathe to get a little extra height but this I definitely do not want to do. I could also mill off the bottom of these tools but unfortunately I do not own a mill and these tools probably would get pretty weak especially here in the front at the cutting edge where the highest forces are. And the solution the pre-owner already did to one of these tool holders is to throw these on the mill and get this bottom edge a little thinner so the tool moves downwards. But I still do not own a mill. So I have to find a solution that's possible to make with the few tools I have laying around in my shop. And that's probably not going to be a professional solution. But I'm pretty optimistic it will work just as fine. And you wouldn't be here if you wanted to see professional solutions, right? <clears throat> Speaking of non-professional, creative way to make your bandsaw bigger than it actually is. Things you shouldn't do at home. I mean, at your office you can do whatever. Kids. If you can't clamp it, do not cut it with a bandsaw. And here's my idea. I want to position the tool in front of the holder so I can move it downwards. And I will do that by welding a plate on top of it that I can then clamp into the tool holder. Now the tool is too far down, but this way I have room for adjustment with the adjustment screw. I figured I'd rather modify the cheap import tooling than the more expensive parts of the lathe. And I think this is a pretty fast, straightforward and simple solution for the problem. Only downside, 
I have to modify every single tool and every time I get a new tool I have to modify it again. But as this is a pretty fast and simple modification I think it's worth it and I can live with it. By the way, these plates I welded onto the tools are 15mm thick and they are cutoffs of the tabletop of my lifting welding table. And if you don't have a welder, I'm sure you can just throw some holes in there, cut some threads and screw the parts together. So that's it already. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching, good luck with your projects and see you on the next one.